A Jabber guest link will be provided to you by the organization you're going to connect with. This could come via a web link, or it could come as a link in an email. Either way, this link will be provided to you. From there, you simply click the link, Jabber guest will be launched, and your connection to the organization will be made. This tutorial will show you what to expect immediately after clicking on this Jabber guest link. Open the link that was provided in the email. You'll be prompted to add a plugin to your browser. This should only take a moment. In this case, I'm using Firefox. I'll add the plugin and permit it to function uh, in private windows as well. Next, download the Jabber guest application. This should only take a few moments. After the download's complete, run this uh, installer. When the installer finishes, you'll get the page refreshed like this. You'll see a self view of yourself, assuming your camera is working correctly. Uh, this is a very straightforward user interface. There is simply a green call button at the bottom. When you're ready to call, we can press that button. Before we do that, however, I do wanna make you aware of one thing. This is simply uh, essentially just a phone call. Uh, when we hit call, you're gonna hear it ringing. Someone will pick up. There may be different prompts along the way. Uh, but when we hit that and someone picks up, they are very likely going to see our video and we're going to see their video, uh, assuming they have their video turned on. So keep that in mind from a privacy perspective. Uh, but let's go ahead and start that call now. You hear it ring. And there you can see my uh, demo assistant on the far end. Uh, once we're in the call, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, the self view drops down into the corner. You can certainly move it around. If you need to, for some reason, uh, use the dial pad, the dial pad is available here and you can simply click the, uh, the numbers. If you need to full screen or would like to full screen, we can use this button for that. If you need to mute your microphone to have a side conversation, mute your microphone. Likewise, you can mute your video as well. So again, privacy reasons, you may wanna use this uh, depending on what's going on. And when you do so, it's a red uh, video camera with a slash through it. When you turn it back on, um, you know, it comes back. It also grays out your, your little thumbnail there as well. You can actually hide the self view if you want to get a better look at the far side. Last but not least, there's just some statistical information here showing the uh, frame size or the resolution and the bandwidth that the call is consuming. So it's very straightforward to use. And again, functions very much like a phone call. To the point of that, when you're done, you simply hit the end call button at the bottom. After you conclude the call, you'll be returned back to this self view screen that you see here. Uh, and really that's it. You can close the browser window and move on from there. If you have other questions or comments, simply reach out to the organization that's sponsoring this service, or uh, you are free to leave your questions and comments in the video discussion below as well. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you again sometime soon.